Hi everyone, Julie here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back on this side of the camera because today I'm going to do a little bit of a sort of a mini unboxing on this. This is the t newer TL60 RGB light stick. So it comes in this pretty cool bag. So let's just cover off what it comes with and then I'll get into the product itself. So it's got, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the these little pouches here, which has got the power adapter, and it's Velcro, and the power cord. There's also this cool little clip that you can clip onto the side and lock it in, and it comes with some wire so you can hang it up on stuff. So that's in there as well. What are we looking at? So we have got. The light stick so this is it here and it's got it comes with this little protective cover which I think could be kind of handy for protecting all of this stuff and it comes with a built-in diffuser it has got some RJ45 connectors for if you want to use it with a DMX panel thing if you want because you can apparently hook up a whole heap of these so if you've got a a nightclub or something like that it could be pretty cool to have a whole heap of these going and it comes with just a standard thread so you could put it on a light stand or something like that and like I said it's got the dome diffuser so it's pretty cool that's where you plug in the power and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn it on try not to blind you there's a little thing that comes up you probably can't see. I'll zoom in in a minute so you can have a look. And you turn that to turn it on. So that's the power that comes out of it. There's different modes and I'll go through this in a minute so you can change the color. You can have different special effects. So there's some pretty cool special effects. Flashing lights candle you can get it to change and rotate through colors which is also pretty cool you've got some really cool effects so there's I'll go into it a bit more but you've got some really cool effects that you can play on it and you've got your RGB there's some LEE filters that you can use as gels and if I turn the lock off I can run my finger down so there's a panel here and you can lock that on or lock it off and you can pick specific colors that you want to work with now if we get back to so this is on your basic mode and again I'll go through this a little bit closer but you can change it from 25,000 Kelvins up to 10,000. So you can go really quite blue on this. You can also change the gamma on this. So let me just zoom in so you guys can have a look at this as opposed to having a look at me. Now I'm hoping you can see this okay. So you've got all your different buttons and dials here. So if I just press this off, so that's your main power button. And like I said before, if I press that, this little unlock comes here and you just scroll the wheel and that unlocks it. This is your, your main controls here. So you can change your white balance to whatever you want it. So you can scroll it down. If I click on this little switch between, you can change the gamma. So you can go from minus 50 to plus 50 on the gamma. There's also your DMX switch. And this is just changing your modes, going through different ones. Like I said, there's different special effects modes that you can have a look at. There's some really cool effects in there. You can switch to the LEE filters. I'm hoping you can see this. Oh, sorry, these are the pixel filters. So this, you can get it to change, it rotates through. 
so that's pretty cool so if you're doing a, some videos and you want some different pixel effects and you can put in different ones so you can change those if I switch over to the RGB so you can set up whatever you want on there and then you've got the LED filters which you can either you can have this screen locked or press the unlock there you go the unlock light comes off and I can change I'm hoping you can see that on my hand I can change the colors there as well or you can lock it and you can use the app so it's pretty cool there's lots of different things you can turn the brightness up and down obviously from the little switch down the bottom it's pretty simple easy to use it's very intuitive and then of course you've got the app okay so this is the new app I've got a couple of devices loaded up I've got the CB200C which I reviewed a little while ago and then we've got the TL60 RGB so if I click on that and you probably didn't even see that but that can turn it on and off maybe if I just put them side by side so I can go through different settings that I can use with that I can change the brightness up or down this is pretty handy to use the app it's probably too too bright it's really handy to use the app if you've got your the light stick up somewhere high or low that you can't really get to so to be able to use that is pretty cool so I can play with different things in here. I can go into different functions. If I want to play with HSL, RGB, your FX. So there's lots of different FX that you can put on there. So you can view all the different effects when it comes up. So I've got candlelight, hue, things like that. So I can change all of that. If I don't want to play with that I've got color filters so you can actually go in and you can pick color filters you can go into pixel effects so you can edit the colors that you want to use on the pixel effects how bright it is the number of colors so you can have more colors if you want to have different colors and you can get it to rotate through all of that I can also there's a really good color picker so the color pick is really kind of cool. So if I want to say select this blue, if I just click that, then the light will change to this blue. If I want to go and pick say the gray of the bag, then the light will sort of go to gray. So you can go to any thing and pick a color or you can run through here and pick the color as well so that's with the the newer app it's great for changing all the settings on the TL60 so I'm hoping hoping you can see all that fairly, fairly good um, it's kind of hard to video this sort of thing if you're not an expert and I am far from an expert as I'm sure you all know when it comes to video that's the newer TL60 and you can use it for just about anything so you can use it to I'm sure it's probably lighting my face up here so I can use it for some creative portrait stuff I'll put some samples in the review and I'll link the review so you can see that we had it on the ground lighting up we had some stuff in the foreground we also did some creative light painting where we were doing it like as in an arc Granted, the photos weren't terribly sharp, but we were after some creative blur. So we did have a lot of fun at playing and experimenting with it, and that was sort of our first time. So I look forward to doing it with a few other things in the future. You could also use it for product photography. Like I said, if you've got a whole heap of these, you could use them sort of in the background, do some really cool effects with them there's lots of fun that you could have with it so that's it from me thanks for watching and I will see you next time on YouTube don't forget to like hit subscribe and uh, perhaps even share the video if you thought it was of interest to yourself or your friends so thanks for watching bye for now